Alright, as you guys can see, I am next to the tallest building in Seattle. Today I'm going to be doing a corner hunt all over Seattle, so I hope you guys are excited for today and let's hope we get some silver. Alright guys, so it's been like around a two or three hours now and I haven't gotten any half dollars except for these right here. I got four proof coins. I got $12.50 from the bank in half dollars and basically what I do with half dollars is I look through them for silver coins so I'm just trying to collect those coins because they are worth a good deal of money. So I did get four proofs and these coins are made for mint sets so they're worth a little bit more. I got a 71 proof, 83 proof, 85 and a 95 so I'm gonna save these coins the banks are all saying someone came and bought half dollars around one or two weeks ago one lady told me he was a collector so I'm guessing that uh, most of the half dollars in Seattle have been already taken I'll explain more about coin or hunting if you're new so you guys can figure out what I'm actually doing all right so I'll catch you guys at the next place I get halves all right guys so we got some silver this time so I went into the bank and I asked if they had half dollars they had one silver in individual coins, so first silver of the day. So if you guys are new to watching my channel, this is one of my hobbies that I like to do is coin roll hunting. So basically what I do is I go into a bank and I ask if they have half dollars and then I search through them for like coins that are more valuable. If you want to know more about that, just leave a comment down below. It's just one of my hobbies. It's not like something you're always going to make money doing. I have made money before. Um, but that's fairly rare. I also like it fishing, exploring, going on adventures, like exploring abandoned houses and buildings is fun. And that's actually one thing that I'm doing this summer. And just so you guys know, while I'm talking, I'm also looking through these for valuable coins. So anyways, I'm going on a road trip this summer all across the country. I'm going to be collabing with some big YouTubers. If you guys have heard of Danny Duncan, Braille Skateboarding, um... What's this? A Garrett Jenner. And if you guys want to join me for that road trip, you can just subscribe. Make sure you guys drop a like. And also, I'm going to be getting more into exploring abandoned places and stuff. So, comment down below if you want to see those videos. And I'll catch you guys at the next place I get half dollars. Alright, guys. We got a roll of half dollars um, from the bank right across the street. So, I've actually never seen this roll type before. That's kind of cool. Uh, oh, we may have one. Right at the bottom, it looks a little darkish. And and what I look for is, for 40%, they're going to be either like a silver color. So if you look at this side, it's going to be, be like this color on the edge. Or it's going to be like a brown or gray or blackish tone. So this is the second silver of the day, 1968. That brings us up to a grand total of $6 profit for today. Not one of my best days, but I'll catch you guys at the next bank, which is a couple blocks down. Alright guys, we are in a parking lot for a bank. Since we're in like the city area, like the big city, uh, their parking is inside the building. So it's kind of dark here, but in their individual, she had $11, so I picked all those up. And there's one silver that I saw. That's why I actually ended up buying the coins because she pulled out all her half dollars and then I saw the silver so I just bought all the coins. So I got a 1967 third silver of the day. That makes it um, $9 in silver. And then in total we also have those proofs so probably around 15 bucks total value. I will catch you guys at the next place I get half dollars. Do Alright guys, so I'm not going to go to any more banks today just because I want to avoid all the Seattle traffic. That's one of the reasons why I haven't gone to Seattle until today. I'm at a Bank of America right now and they had some dimes. They, I got two boxes of dimes, just rolls of coins. And then I'm going to finish up today's video. These are all the finds from today. Alright, so we got four proofs and then we got three silvers. 1995. A couple of these are in really good condition. 91, or 71, excuse me. 1983, and a 1985. And then the three silvers, we have a 67, 68, and a 67. All right, we got around $15 in both silver and in proof coins today, so we didn't do too bad. 
I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and if you did, make sure you drop a like. Something I do daily is a comment shout out, and today's comment shout out goes to Golden Touch. What you have to do to get a comment shout out is be subscribed, like the video, and comment something, and I'll be picking one of those daily. Um, and if you guys want to get a notification shout out, all you have to do is click uh, the bell after you click the subscribe button, and then comment done after you finish that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you guys subscribe if you did enjoy this type of video and let me know that you want to see more of this type of video. I'll be doing another corner hunt because I post daily so I'll be corner hunting in one or two days. If you guys want to see my last video, click here. If you want to see a playlist, click here. Click here to subscribe. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.